right, hey everyone, we're at the bridge. It's March 29th. Uh, St. George Island, we're fishing the St. George Island side of the bridge. As you can see, it uh, actually got broken a little bit, but it created a pretty good uh, fishing spot. We're casting about halfway between here and the other side. And uh, the best part, the um, best time to fish this is an incoming tide. As you can see, water's coming from right to left. That seems the best time. It's about 4.20 right now and uh, we'll keep you updated with fish. We're using a Carolina rig on the bottom with uh, shrimp as bait, usually the whole tail, and a number two size bait holder hook, eagle claw. Um, we got about a uh, one and a half foot uh, monoliter on the end, so that seems to be doing it. All right, just about this whiting. It's on the Carolina rig again. We have a two ounce, or one and a half ounce weight here, sorry. And uh, we're fishing the incoming tide. Incoming tide seems to do a lot better. Um, we're fishing up to high tide. High tide's at 5.15. It's about 4.30 right now. And uh, I cast it about 20 yards to the right of that uh, um, rusty post sticking up. All right, so here's the Carolina rig we've got. That's a one and a half ounce weight right there. It keeps it anchored to the bottom pretty well. It's a decent current, so one and a half ounce to two ounce would be good for this. And then we got about one and a half to two feet of uh, fluorocarbon on the end with that bait holder hook. And a small piece of shrimp. About half a shrimp. Sometimes a whole one if it's small. And just go ahead and cast it out there. Allow for some drift, so aim to the right a little bit. Alright, here we got someone on. Want something on. Looks like a trout. Is that a trout? Yeah, it looks like a small trout. Yeah, this guy's gonna make it. Limit to 15. Greater than 15 and smaller than 20. So, he's gonna have to go back. But, it's a sign the fish are here. And hopefully it's a full trout swimming through. Sometimes these guys will get your bait. They're pretty uh, pesky bait sealers. Either these or pinfish will get you. So, basically what you do. Just gotta throw them back, something like that. Got one. Let's see what it is. I'm guessing it's a small trout. Oh, I think I'm guessing right. Be close. All right, this is trout number three for us. It is 14 inches again, so we're we'll have to let him go. All right, this is trout number six. We're still catching them on this rig, but uh, they've all been pretty small. This is about a foot, a foot to 14 inches, is about it. So we just got haven't let a lot of them go yet, but fishing's good. All right, so this is trout number eight, our second keeper. He's 15 inches, so that'll make it into the bag. And then that other 17 and a half inch one was crazy, so we're gonna keep fishing here for a little longer. It's about 6:15. It's actually an hour past high tide, but as you can see, the current is still moving, and that's what that's what you need. The current's still moving. We have lost a lot of leaders, so uh, remember to bring a lot of tackle. Uh, there are some snags out here, especially as you can see. There's one raised one. There's a couple submerged ones too, so just bring a lot of tackle, and uh, always try to stay ready. All right, this is trout number. Oh, we don't know what it is yet. This is. Oh, big sheep's head. Bring him up. Oh yes. To give sheep's head. All right, so this actually was a black drum. It wasn't a sheep's head as I saw, but as I thought it was. You can tell it's a black drum by little whiskers on the bottom. And has a its nose a little more rounded in the front, has a sucker kind of mouth, and it doesn't have the characteristic sheep's head molar type teeth. So, but it does have the black bands, and this is a keeper. It's 15 inches, so we're good to go.